One of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop CS5 is the inclusion of Mini Bridge. Now this is a smaller version of Bridge with not as many features, but it still allows you to browse through all of your files and then seamlessly bring them directly into Photoshop. There are many ways to open Mini Bridge. There are a couple of different icons right out of the gates. First one up here on the top left, you can see the little MB. And then if you come over here to the panel section, another MB. Or you can come up here to the file and browse in Mini Bridge. So any one of those will open the same menu. Now, Mini Bridge, it does have some of the options of the popular file browser and management program, Bridge. But a lot of it's been taken out and basically it's a file navigator, which you can then use and bring content into Photoshop so that you can edit it. If you're familiar with any other kind of browser, such as an internet browser, you've got the same basic options up here. Uh, the first one is Home. When you click on Home, it gives you this little Welcome to Mini Bridge area where you can browse your files and click on Settings. So my first option here when I click Browse Files brings me to the desktop. Over here I've got Favorites, Recent Folders, Collections, etc. And then here's where the actual files on my computer are located. So we'll stick with the desktop for now. Down here in the content section, you can see little thumbnails or icons uh, wherever is appropriate for everything that's on my desktop. And yes, I do have a pretty cluttered desktop at this point. This is actually cleaned up. You should have seen it a few minutes ago. Anyway, starting off right at the bottom left hand corner rather than all the way back up at the top. In the content menu, you can enlarge these icons the same way you would in most other Adobe programs. You have the little uh, enlargement slider. I like to keep it somewhere manageable where I have a little thumbnail, but it, it's not out of control and I can still see it. So, I don't know, somewhere right in here. It's, this is a personal preference thing, but this is where you figure it out. The next panel we're going to see is over to the right. This is our slideshow option. And if you click on slideshow, whoops. You'll see this kind of cycle through everything that we have content wise. So then we have some images and I'm just gonna hit escape here to bring us back into the Photoshop view. Right next to the slideshow option is the view option, bottom right hand corner again. And here we can view things as thumbnails, which is what I have now, as a film strip, or details, list, pretty much all the same options that you have in any basic file browser. All right, so I did skip over one thing if you were watching closely in the slideshow section, and that's review mode. So I'm gonna click on review mode, and then I'm gonna zoom out, and here, you'll see everything that's on my desktop, but I can click and drag and move things around. So let's say I wanna look at this image and I can look at it close up, that handsome devil right there. Uh, I can right click it and add a rating to this, but I can only do this in review mode. If I'm just normally inside mini bridge, then the rating system is not open to me. So keep that in mind if we're gonna start sorting by rating. The next thing we can do is create a new collection. So if you come down here to the bottom, right hand side, click on this little icon with the plus, and now we can create a new collection, save that collection, and start adding images to the collection. But for now, I'm gonna cancel out of this, and we'll get back to talking about what you can do in Mini Bridge. All right, let's look right up here at the content bar and go over to the right. Here we can refresh the information. So if you drag some extra images into this folder, which in this case, as I said, was the desktop, if you drag some extra images in and they don't show up, just go ahead over here and hit refresh. And it will refresh everything for you and now you should be able to see your image. You also have your options to show various types of files and then selection options. In this next funnel looking icon, you can filter then by rating system. So here, let's only show things with one star. Well, since I haven't rated anything in this folder, we have nothing. So clear the filter. If we right click any of these files, we can add these to our favorites, which will then appear up top here in our navigation. And then I can switch right to that, or I can come back here to the desktop. The next icon over will arrange our files by type or date created, modified, size, labeled, etc. Typical to most file browsers. And then the last icon here is going to allow us to drop whatever image we have selected into Photoshop. So we click 
place in Photoshop. And that'll open the file. The other option here is Photoshop. And here we can batch process things, image processor, load files into layers, and photo merge or merge to HDR Pro. And then if we come back up here, we can actually open this file in Bridge itself, which will definitely give us more options to choose from. The next icon over determines how we view Mini Bridge. And we just have these three little options here to change what we're looking at. Nothing fancy. And then finally, there's the search function. All right, so that's all for Mini Bridge. It doesn't give us all the options that Bridge gives us. And even though Bridge doesn't take up much itself in terms of system overhead, it's nice to have this Mini Bridge right inside Photoshop. That's all for Mini Bridge. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions you have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.